Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we're looking at a beer. The beers are back behind me, so let's just grab one, shall we? Let's go with, uh... Let's go with this one next. Bench's... Bench Brewing Company. Grimsby, Ontario. This is Berry Fields. Which is a tart and juicy fruit sour. So, uh, why did I say Grimsby? I said Grimsby. That are Beamsville. Ingredients, water, malted barley, wheat, oats, hops, yeast, and raspberries. 5.4% alcohol by volume. Uh, I am... I am usually a fan of bench beers, so let's see how this goes, right? Um, oh, and as you guys know, I am a fan of fruit beers that look like they use real fruit. So, we're, we have this beer that has raspberries in it. It doesn't really look it to me on the camera. It looks bright white, but the head has a pink hue to it. It is hazy crazy. It is a red color, beautiful looking beer. Sent out of the can first. Ooh. That's... Okay. So, that was raspberry jam. Raspberry jam fresh raspberries and perm chemical all mixed together as most of you know that have watched this channel a lot if it is something that's kettle soured if it is done with lactobacillus quite often it's going to come up with uh with a perm chemical type of smell to me uh, it's just the paradigm that goes off in my mind the memory that comes off is my mother's basement fucking hair salon where she'd have the little old ladies she'd be doing their hair as i was passed out after wrestling practice uh not a great memory that I like having, but it is a memory that I have. Uh, usually I still like the beers as long as I don't get the taste of the of the perm chemical. Sometimes it comes through, most times it doesn't. So let's get into this beer. Well, actually we gotta, we gotta snip it from the cup first, eh? The cup, it's just raspberries. I'm okay with that, cheers. So like they said, it is more tart than sour. Um, there is a tiny touch of sweetness that comes through, but it's a nice, slight little pucker. And it's a, it's a Moorish beer because it clears the back of your palate and you're like, hey, I would like to have some more of that. And you swallow it and you're like, hey, that was an okay beer. Hey Chad, what beer were you drinking? I was drinking Berry Fields. Oh, were you? Was Berry Fields good? Yeah, not as good as, like, strawberry fields, but, you know, berry fields are nice. Oh, do you still taste any of it? What's it taste like? No, I don't taste any more of it. Let's try some more. Mmm. That's a good beer. Oh, is it a good beer? Yeah, it's a good beer. Oh, really? What's it taste like? Oh, I don't remember. Let's try some more. You know, that type of thing. You get an earthiness. You get a breadiness. All at the very back forefront of this beer full-on raspberry flavor you get sweet raspberries you get sour raspberries you get the raspberry the little fucking uh, little tiny seeds the little black seeds that you're just crunching and you're getting the tannic taste off those seeds this is a solid fucking beer i really like this i could probably drink this all day every day because it's not sour it's 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 tart so it's not something that's going to kill your stomach it's not something you're gonna wake up and go oh god why did i do that it's not anything like that it's not too acidic it's not it's it's not overpowering in the flavor department it's not overpowering in the abv department so you can drink more than one of them i really like this beer nine out of ten i really like that beer berry fields by bench thank you guys bye